Okay, so in one of my other video, I showed how to make the coil, so we're not going to go over that yet. Um, and then here they are mounted on the mat. I use duct tape on a camping mat, it's awesome, it's cheap, it's durable, and it works really well. So, all my coils are mounted on the mat. Okay, each coil will have two ends. You have to burn the, uh, the varnish off of it so you have a connection and you fold the end up like this so the crimp has something to grab onto and then we're going to join that with a wire. I'll show you what it looks like in a second. Okay, so basically we're going to tie this side, all these coils in series one after the next. Okay, and I'll tell you in a second why we're using wires. We'll do the other side all in series two so i'll do that and then we'll talk about the rest all right so each row has been wired up in series from one coil to the next i used my meter and i checked all the connection make sure they're good now you're probably asking yourself why don't we just make the coil continuous to the set to the next one using just the speaker wire my experience has been is when you roll the mat over and over and over again that wire broke and I've had my mat breaking a few times so now I just put this wire in there it's way more flexible and the wire I use just low voltage lighting cable it's just 24 volts just for, like, for lightning for lighting works really well it's cheap and then I just do all my connection now what we're gonna do is each series has to be put in parallel um, once again, I can't explain all the math and everything else. We can just follow it up, but it's just, it's a matter of balancing the whole system. So 94 wraps, each coil, 10 coils, five in series, five in series, and then we're going to parallel them two together. Okay, now the hard part. We got everything seried on each side, and now we're going to parallel them up. So the top two wires going to join them together with one wire and you're going to bring that wire down and then we're going to join the other two wires and then we're going to make that go into our mat all right so one wire goes all the way up because it's in series and comes out on this side same thing with the other side and then you end up with two wires up there we're going to join that one okay so that's joined together this coil and this coil came down and we joined it onto this wire that comes all the way back down to the foot of your mat in line with this and now we have those two wires and this is the mat coil that we made that's going to get connected to our box there's two wires here so one's going to go with this one the other one's going to go with the other two now we've Siri this all the way up and then we did the same thing on the other side and these two series are put together in parallel via these two wires okay so you should end up with this two wa copper wire right here soldered right I mean crimped right there and then the other one that comes from the top comes all the way down here and then it goes to my coil mat so each coil is the easy chain to the next one then you got a pigtail the other side same thing the easy chain and the pigtail and those two pigtails go together comes down on this wire that gets attached to the mat power cord and then the other two pigtail down here that come from each coil gets attached to the other one. So now in essence, our two pins right here that we soldered, they have the connection for the mat. So now all our coils are connected. All right, so we're ready to do a test. We got our controller mat plugged in. I got it powered up. 
I turned it on. Right now we got a 50% duty cycle and 14 hertz. And if we did everything right, this should go through our mat. Now I have a gauze meter that I like to use, but um, another trick is tiny little neocadium uh, rare earth magnet and a glass jar. And if we did everything right, There we go. And this side. Well, it's working nicely. So now all I'm gonna do is finish the taping so everything looks uh, and doesn't move anymore. All right? So the mat works. We'll come back. All right. All taped up. Ready to go. And what a lot of people do, um, just build a sock for it, like grab some bed sheets, whatever, and then stitch it up and then shove that, shove the mat in there. And um, that works pretty good. Some people use polar fleece. Uh, some of my friends just like me, don't care, they just use the mat that way. So you can sit on this side or you can flip the mat and sit on the other side. So you can sit right on the, co on the coils or you can sit on the other side of the mat. Um, I usually don't inflate it, but you guys can play with it. I won't tell you how to use your mat. So right here, I got my probe. I got this on one hertz because my meter here cannot calculate things any faster than that. And we're making 34 gauze I gotta keep the probe straight. 34 gauze in Tesla will be 3.1 milli Tesla. I like measuring stuff in gauze. Hold, hold the highest number. And you go. Just 133 gauze per coil. Got 10 coils, so the whole mat will make 300 gauze. Um, yeah, all the research showed that. Uh, 25 to 30 gauze is the sweet spot. Anyway, any question? Let me know.